So this is Warhammer 40k Warp Forge, a really cool card game you can play on both PC and mobile, and it might look a little familiar because the kind folks on the Warp Forge team have sponsored a bunch of different videos and streams all throughout the early access period, and now they're sponsoring this video so that I can tell all of you the game has officially launched. That means it's a great time to hop in for the first time or maybe revisit the game if it's been a while since you checked it out. Not only is there a brand new faction, the Astra Militarum, with these like sick World War II sci-fi designs. Like, I mean, these characters look really cool. This guy in particular with this mechanical horse. So you can, you can check out that new faction, but they've also added a bunch of stuff since the last time we looked at this game here on the channel. I think the two biggest changes might be the addition of alliances. So now you can join an alliance and uh, hang out with some other Warhammer 40k fanatics. There are also some improvements to the ranked progression system and rewards. I know that's something people were asking for. Oh, and there were actually even more factions added over the last year as well. It's not just Astra Militarum. It's also the Gene Stealer cults with cards like Magus. Uthral Nas. There was also the uh, Adepta Sororitas, which we're gonna uh, play some a little bit later in the video with cards like this one, Erica Luminos. This is just really sick looking. I absolutely love the artwork and character designs in Warhammer 40K. I could just browse this collection screen all day. Oh, there were also the, uh, the Teao Empire with these like crazy Gundam looking mechs. Like this really leans hard into the sci-fi side of things. So uh, a bunch of new cards you may not have seen before, even if you watched some previous videos from me on this game. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at some of the cards from the new faction. We're actually gonna open packs so we can just look at a bunch of cool cards and artwork, and we're gonna head into a multiplayer match as well. But before we do, if you're already sold and wanna check out this game, you can hit that link down in the description below and grab this game on either PC or mobile. So that's Steam, Android, and iOS. It's totally free to play and check out. I personally love just hopping in here and doing draft runs. Uh, you get a free one every day, so it's a great way to play. Just learn all the cards and uh, see, again, tons of sick artwork and characters without having to feel like you need to commit to opening packs or anything just yet. So uh, that link is down there. Of course, this, this team has really supported me throughout the years as well with lots of sponsored videos. So they're also just really cool to work with, really chill about sponsorship stuff. They don't have a bunch of demands and requirements. They're just like, hey, have some fun playing the game and show people. And that's exactly what we're doing. So I appreciate their support. I would appreciate if you guys also showed support, some support for this game as well. That said, uh, let's go ahead and uh, check out the new faction, the Astra Militarum uh okay cool uh man look at this big old six drop friendly infantry troops have armor one and you can deploy two shock troopers on the duty which is kind of cool duty uh by the way is uh you get to use this instead of an attack so kind of a one-time use ability uh that seems a little too expensive but i think keeping a one three and a four is is fine as far as the mulligan's concerned we got the hydra here as well with a regiment ability that's gonna proc when uh ranged attacks happen from friendly units so okay getting hit getting hit uh we got a nice strong health total though which is pretty sweet so yeah this uh this one drops cool we can lower a cost by one this seems really good just like get a body down i think the shock trooper sergeant makes a lot of sense this has an ability that can deploy more stuff just kind of get a swarm going the flamer trooper has this blast ability which is is an aoe so this can clean up a board but i don't anticipate that many things yet so Let's just fill the curve here with a shock trooper sergeant. I'm, I'm, I don't know this, but to me, this kind of feels like it might be uh, a really nice, like, you know, typical curve sort of thing you're looking to, to hit here. So, uh, yeah, we definitely don't want our duty yet. So let's just do a ranged attack for now. That's fine. This uh, vanguard here too, this shock trooper having vanguard is, is pretty nice. It'll protect the little body here on the Fabern Vanquisher. Might give us a slightly better trade or something. Uh, oh, the AOE is going to clean this up, though, on the attack. Two here. Oh, dude, he's got a rally deal one. That's so clean. Dude. All right, that's fine. We're still going to be way out on board, it looks like. So this is another two-drop alternative. Uh, heal one doesn't seem very good yet. Oh, by the way, our, our talent for this, for this uh, particular warlord is Lord Commander. So we can give a 
boost of uh, damage basically to our board, which we've, we've already seen a few things here that seem like they're going to be good at hitting boards. So we'll melee attack this. So we only take one return damage. We develop this guy so that he can hopefully duty next turn. This three health might be hard to clean up uh, or they're going to use this again. But the, oh, the, the, not going to hit the unit. They're going to hit my hero. It's a bot. You know, it's a, it's a practice match playing his AI. So I'm curious. Oh, no, no, it does clean up. I thought it was targeting our warlord for a moment. Sad, we don't get to use the duty on our guy, and that's a little unfortunate. Um, but you know, still, like we said, curving out well, no problem. Now we've got the Commissar. When a friendly troop triggers a duty, give one armor. We will go ahead and use our duty here to clean up this uh, three health unit, I think. Again, manage a board lead. This now finally has four health. Hopefully that's a little stickier. These three health units keep getting cleared up of the uh, talent. Yeah, it looks like finally we might stick an actual threat here. And we have a three and a two as well now, which is pretty nice. Three ranged damage. Smart plays. This denied us uh, range damage with the blind. So we got a five drop here. Do we would we rather play two things, right? This has duty. Uh, well, no, this needs to be alive for that to work, which these these don't have duty right away, right? It's going to take a minute basically to get duties um does the regiment proc on a warlord too yeah it's friendly unit so it should so we can actually heal it's a random friendly unit though and, and two health may not really make a meaningful difference we might just use this four to probably just use it to to, to get some burst damage right uh i'm gonna go wide here as opposed to going tall we're gonna play two of these guys i think that's okay and and i'm really i think i am really gonna just take the burst damage this is gonna get cleaned up too easily anyway so let's just hit it down to 24 you know next turn we've got a choice between two six drops right we got this regiment which we should be able to activate a couple a couple uh times right like we have two units on board attacking so uh you know, there's going to be some, some hits on the regiment, hopefully. Okay, we have one extra unit on board attacking. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, this is armor one with... Dude, this is actually pretty nice to get down early, I guess, because this deploys shock troopers if it lives, and then you really swarm. So this is more of a setup, and this is kind of more of a follow-up, I guess, right? This also only hits flying units, which may not actually be very useful. So I think it's definitely the chimera here. That looks pretty good. I think we might as well go ahead and clean this guy up with melee attacks. Uh, the armor here keeping us a little sturdier on that. That looks good. I didn't even look at that guy, but I think we needed to. Yeah, this is a monster board. Okay. I love that this is just like... <laughs> these are just like tanks. <laughs> They're just World War II tanks, but a little bit cooler looking. Like it's... Uh, it is a very strong visual and like you know this this is obviously a, like a mech type thing but it's it's still very like world war ii inspired it's pretty cool i didn't even look at this by the way draw three cards if your world has stimulus health lower their cost by three whoa that is sweet i didn't look at this either recon operation all enemies lose stealth and camouflage if no enemy is affected draw two cards oh i really like that conditionality that's actually pretty great so we can use the duty on this to deploy some shock troopers. Okay, two shock troopers down and... I mean, I guess we do just play this, like just draw two and then play a five. Bro, the God Spear Warhead deal <laughs> 10 to all is so sick. And the Rogel Dorn tank. Armor 2, Vanguard, 9 health, and uh, bonus uh, ranged attack too. Man, that's kind of crazy. So, uh, yeah, I guess that guy's not attacking, uh, but this can attack for 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Yeah, I think we should. We've got... Um... Oh, these can't attack yet, of course. Uh, no, these just got summoned, but a little buff on the guy anyway, so... Couple little taunts, uh, little vanguards here in the way. We got some big bodies coming in. This game's definitely trending in the right direction for us so far. What is that though? What is that? Oh, that was just his talent. That's pretty weak. Softening up a little bit here. Oh, this guy's big though. Holy crap. Blast three. We really don't want that attacking. This is going to get up to seven though pretty easily. So um, 
that should clean that up really cleanly it will die i guess but do we care no flying units but this guy's just big we're one off from both of these big home runs um this is a nice little burst increase too i think he's gonna have like a, is this actually like a lethal at all by the way hold up i feel like we might just have lethal uh how much damage do we have because i can hit for three and three I, sh I really should have counted to be honest, but it's okay. We're, we're just we're just trusting and three And five And ten let's freaking go. This guy's insane 11. Oh my god Now oh, that was some faith. Okay, dude, that's sick Yeah, that was cool. I like that a lot. It was some crazy burst. Wow. I spotted lethal too. What do you know? So next up, I wanted to just open some packs. I have 30 packs open. This is just a fun way to see cards and see cool art and, you know, kind of a exploration of fun stuff without, you know, digging through the collection necessarily. The uh, Basilisk, this is the Astra Militarum uh, again. Uh, this one's long range. Enemies don't retaliate. Yeah, that's cool. And Blast 3, man, that's kind of nuts. <laughs> it's like a long range sniper. Seems like a lot of cool range stuff in the Astro Militarum. Some of these I have seen before, but uh, still good to kind of uh, take a look again. The Pyrovore. I honestly don't remember this artwork because it is incredibly horrifying. Uh, I do seem to remember Leviathan's Tendrils. The Scorpec Lord. I, I remember some of these remnant cards. This leaves behind a remnant that you kind of do stuff with. Um. This is a big boy, an 8888, and uh, gains extra attack when an enemy dies. That's gotta be nuts. Uh, okay, boom, boom, boom. Tyrannofex, that is so sick. Strike deal, one damage to random, random enemy eight times every time this attacks, and it's got 14 health. Dude, I, I just love big cards in card games always like here's another eight 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 it's got a two range but that's okay heals four on that strike the the locust heavy destroyer when reanimated deal three damage to random enemy enhanced organism gather the company i've seen some of these before some of these are a little more familiar but... okay these card backs look sick too you know not to sleep on the on the card backs um Return a friendly troop to your hand, lower its cost by two. That is exactly like Shadow Step and Hearthstone, uh, but it costs one. <laughs> they learned something. I love that. That's actually pretty funny. Uh, here's a Gene Stealer Colts card. I haven't played as much since the Gene Stealer Colts hit. Uh, I saw this uprising keyword though. When you deploy another troop at the same time, so when you like play a bunch of stuff, this gains. Uh, some extra range, hit for three, and uh, can attack right away, so that's pretty sweet. Sister Rapintia, when this unit kills an enemy, gain one faith, which is like a resource you use in this Adepta Sor Sororitas uh, faction, and then Penitence gain two uh, damage. This can't do range at all, though. All melee, which is cool. Destroy three random drones and give them Vanguard. Just deploy three shock troopers, lower the cost by one when you deploy a vehicle. Oh, okay. So we saw the Astro Militarum is really all about uh, shock troopers so far. Like summoning a lot of those kind of kind of brings in a vehicle line, I guess. Do, do, do. Oh, Banner Knob, the Goth Clan. I remember this guy, I think. Adjacent units have extra attack. The Vox Operator from Astro Militarum, when you deploy a vehicle, give it flank. Okay, some more vehicle build synergy stuff. More shock troops. Deal one damage to random enemy for each friendly unit in play. Also go wide with the troops and then and then uh, spam some extra damage, I guess. You give two melee to your units until your next turn. If you have five faith, you give an extra one. That seems like a pretty sick, pretty sick finisher, actually, yeah. Okay. Incapable Retribution. Deploy two Tomb Blades. I don't guess I know what a Tomb Blade is, but I think we can click and look. Uh, three, three, Remnant Flying Flank. Oh, okay. So just like two nice reactive 
cards and some remnant bodies perhaps to play three random two cost troops so you kind of get six mana worth of stuff six energy worth of stuff uh the big shooter boy <laughs> i love the names from the golf clan dude mob is oh yeah when, when somebody else does a melee attack that's right uh yeah that's pretty cool big um if you get a big wide board this could definitely melt some some stuff Show me them big old 10 drops. I want, yeah, nine drops. This is what I want to see here. The Gorkonaut from the Goth Clan. Nine health with armor, 10 uh, melee damage. Armor one, blast five is insane. Uh, and then this unstable. Yeah, I think a lot of these have this in Goth Clan. It, it, it damages its, its allies basically when it dies. The Neophyte Heavy from the Gene Stealer Colts Ambush. Troop is deployed hidden in play until interacted with. Trigger X when revealed during your turn so when it's revealed it deals two damage to a random big crumpus uh when played deals three the acolyte specialist from the gene stealer colts another another ambush creates a random sabotage sabotages are cards that you give to your opponent's hand that do bad things annoying things you got to spend energy to get rid of them oh no I, I, I clicked too fast. Ooh, there was a sick looking eight cost card. I missed it. No. Somebody go back and pause the video. You can see it, but I can't. I missed it forever. The Storm Speeder Hail Strike. Uh, flying and Codex deal one to all. Codex is like when you, when you when you finish a turn with zero, basically. Although I think you can actually maybe trigger it multiple times because I think there's ways to refresh your energy and then go back to zero again. I'm not sure about that, but I think that's true. Big old 7-7 uh, seven, seven here with Remnant and Regen. Deploy a copy when reanimated off the Remnant. Oh, that's pretty cool. That seems scary. This is a big old 5-4. They can attack right away. Melee, that's kind of nice. Make some good trades, I guess. Got some Goth boys here. Oh, this is a Warlord. Gruk Face Ripper from the Goth Clan. That's cool. Oh, the Sun Shark Bomber from the Teao Empire. Flying Blast 5, and when played, gives uh, Marker Light 2 to an enemy. Marker Light, I gotta be honest, I don't know what this is. When this unit receives a ranged attack, it receives X additional damage and loses Marker Light at the end of a turn. Okay, so it, 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 it gives two bonus ranged damage to something. For one turn so you can like if you have some range attacks you can just burn something uh i guess particularly it says uh units so this could hit a warlord i guess right if it's like you know could really burst down a warlord maybe with some ranged attacks sounds like let's see here the breacher shousey it's just a five five four five vanguard I, I don't know why but i love cards like this it's just like I don't know if it's any good. I have no idea. I like just honest numbers, though. It's just nothing fancy, nothing crazy. One keyword. Give me some stats, and we're happy. That's the kind of card I want to play at a draft run. Like, I just, I can trust it. You know, I don't need synergies. I don't need bonuses. I just like it. What is this little one drop? Same thing. It was a 0 1 3 with Vanguard. That seems just like a little speed bump, right? A little speed bump. Oh, choose a troop from your deck and draw it. Do you actually get to choose from like a. It's not like just choose from three. You get to choose the exact troop. That's pretty sick if so. Here's an Adepta Sor Sororitas card. Uh, just a three, three, four blast two. It's a little bit of a board sweeper. It stays alive. Dude, uh, by the way, just every card has sick artwork. I, I probably am not talking about the artwork enough because every single one always has such sick artwork. Like I just, Warhammer 40K designs are crazy. Oh dude, this is like a crazy rarity. The Tech Priest Engine Seer from the Astro Militarum, the new faction too. Regiment heal two to a friendly vehicle. Again, that's when the uh, you have the ranged attack go off. And then the duty, we know you get to choose. Lower the cost of all vehicles in your hand and deck by one. Whoa. I wonder if we have enough cards to build like a little, I don't know, like a like a vehicle Astro Militarum deck, or at least like the start of one. By the way, I, I did not know this Teao Empire is basically like Gundam, dude. They, these look crazy. Most Warhammer 40k stuff is more like edgy or like, you know, like twisted medieval fantasy. Like, you know, it's, it's got like roots of medieval fantasy and then they modernize it in sci-fi and, you know, it still kind of 
feels like a twisted version of Warhammer. But this just looks like, you know, like super modern, clean sci-fi sort of thing, which is, is kind of wild. That's kind of crazy. The Teo Empire stuff, just straight up Gundams, dude, which I like. It, I, I don't know how well it fits the grunginess necessarily of everything else, but I guess I'm not mad about it. Uh, big old six drop, some dude riding a cool little scooter. The Celestian, the, I like the aesthetic of the Adepta Sor Sororitas quite a bit too. Gain a shield, okay. A damage denial, seems pretty good. Well. The missile drone, oh, we saw this big six drop guy before. Here is another Adepta Sororitas. Flying and flank and six five. It's kind of wild. Here's that. See, this Tao Empire card, this looks a little more Warhammer to me while still kind of giving those like Gundam vibes a little bit, but just the color palette was less like clean white, you know? Curious. I, I kind of want to read more about that because it's it's uh, it's pretty crazy looking. Ooh, we love the 10 drops. The Colt Lemon Russ. Dude, that is uh that thing is is big. A 1010. Is this one we already saw before? This sound that name sounds familiar to me, but uh when you deploy a troop with this, it deals five to random enemy, but I'm wondering how you deploy things with it when it costs so much. Like how reliably does that happen? I don't know. Maybe there's some way to you know discount a bunch of stuff. We saw some like vehicle discounts and such, you know. Uh, all right. Yeah, we're getting a lot of Adeptus Sororitas cards, too. I hope I'm saying that remotely correctly. Hey, an Execute style card costs four here, though. It's kind of nice that removal costs a little more. You'll notice I'm, I'm really just focusing on the big cards. I'm like, I'm such a sucker for big cards. Here is a, a big stratagem. He'll five your Warlord and give a two attack. Seems expensive for that to me, but... I, 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 maybe it's good. I don't know. Like, you know, this, is, this can be a big difference. Healing five is this thing that can buy you maybe like a whole turn, maybe if you have a bunch of extra energy or something. Here's that, uh, I think big old 8 8 we saw before. The mechanized infantry. Oh, yeah, we saw this before. Lower cost by one when you deploy a vehicle. So we have a couple of those. Yeah, we might be able to build a cool little vehicle, uh, a little vehicle deck. I don't know. Nice, a purple, dude. The Gene Stealer Colts given vulnerable to your troops this turn and trigger their uprising abilities. Oh, dang. Okay, oh, and a Warlord here, too, for the Sawtech Dynasty. Adjacent remnants do not disappear at the end of your turn. Nice, what's the talent on this one? Can I look at that? Deploy a Necron Warrior. So just get a little 2-2 body, yeah? Pretty cool. Look, like we get some pretty solid packs. I don't know what to expect, but it seems like good results to me. Oh, the Black Legion. Deploy four random troops from your deck. Dude, that actually sounds pretty sick. <laughs> it's, you know, it is. It's, it costs 10, so I'm into it. The Goliath Rock Grinder. That's a big thing, too, there, dude, from the Gene Stealer Colts. Eight, nine, seven, eight with one armor, blast four. And then the Ghost Arc from the Saw Tech uh, Dynasty. Uh, flying with Talent Reanimate. Huh, I didn't actually, I know, I, I thought Warlords had the talents, but uh, I'm, I'm intrigued, dude, that's crazy. Reanimate, yeah. Reanimate a friendly remnant, cool, dude. Big. Artifice, too, when you play a, dude, you just get like a million things out of this ghost arc. I can see it's like a troop summoner and you're just summoning a bunch of troops out of the card, too. That's cool flavor. That's fun. Uh, okay. We've seen, I think, quite a few of these already. Yeah, all right. This, uh, Unstable Boy again. We saw Unstable before. A lot of Adapt Adepta Sororitas. I wonder if I should almost build an Adepta Sororitas, but I want to build an Astra Militarum because they're new. I, I clicked too fast. I'll never know what those cards were. I'll never, I'll never see them again. <laughs> I'll never know. Uh, okay, there's uh, there's Shark Trooper Sergeant. We saw that in our practice run, yeah. Also the Chaos Sergeant for the Black Legion. These dark packs, I know, can be pretty crazy. Um, these like blessings or like buffs you stack up on cards. I know in draft runs, I've had some of those just completely destroy me. It's just like one unit gets crazy buffed up and I can't keep up with it, you know? 
Ooh, the Gene Stealer Colts Warlord, Magus Uthral Nas with the talent Blood Prophet. Choose a Gene Stealer Colts troop and add it to your hand. Lower its cost by one. Oh, okay. So generate some value. That looks pretty sweet. This card has a lot going on too. Uh, some faith-based rewards, gaining armor and gaining attack. It's pretty cool. Four packs to go of the uh, all factions packs that I have here. Sorcerer, that dude looks sick. Dude. That is, uh, dude, I, I'm a sucker for this like edgy, like, <laughs> dude, these look freaking cool, dude. I didn't even read his ability. Where is he? Where is his ability at? Talent, a random black legion psychic power, dude. Give Tark Pact. Give some heal and attack, melee attack, deal two to three. That card looks really fun. Wasn't like crazy high rarity either or anything. Pretty fun looking card for a green. Commando from the Goth Clan. Stealth and strike gains stealth. Oh, sick. Okay. Well, this can survive attacks. Might be a pretty annoying body to push through. Sister Superior. The Prey does one. Two packs to go. All right. Uh, big old Zephyrim from Adeptus Sororitas. I think we saw that before, right? The flying and flank sounds familiar. This is a funny card. Concealed explosives. Can't attack. Takes one damage at the start of your turn. And ambush. Deal two to three damage to all enemies. Ah, okay. So it's like a little AoE you basically play down. And... Um, Wait, hold up. It, it it takes one damage at the start of your turn, so it, it dies, right? Oh, but it, it's it. I guess interacted with counts the damage. Maybe interacted with doesn't necessarily mean just like attacks. So I guess it blows itself up after one turn. So it, it's kind of a front loaded AOE. It sounds like yeah. All right, final uh pack from the all factions packs here. Let's see what we got. Anything crazy cool here? Nothing too crazy. Deploy one battle sister for each enemy unit. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. I like that. A lot of Gene Stealer Colts and a lot of uh, Adeptus Sororitas. All right. That was, uh, that was really fun, man. All right. So to close things out here, I wanted to hop into a multiplayer match. And I put together a quick deck using some of the uh, Adeptus Sororitas faction cards and have quite enough to use the, the the latest faction but i had some of these laying around so we have the big exorcist here it's crazy tin cost vehicle we have uh some stuff to to reward faith generation and some ways to to, to generate faith this sick looking uh war suit this thing's crazy another big eight 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 here and some big faith rewards once again so I have no idea if this deck is any good, of course. I am not uh, up on the meta. I just took the cards I had and built the coolest thing I could think of with um, a, a decent looking curve, I guess. So we're going to see how it goes. We may get absolutely stomped and might do all right. We'll see. Okay, uh, I think I think keeping a, a, a six cost is a little bit irresponsible. I will say that looked like one of those kind of swarmy... Uh, characters so may maybe keeping this and just like flipping the script on them could be pretty cool maybe the four cost here is a little weird but i do like that this is a faith generator i think we'll just keep this hand i think it's i think it's totally fine so um let's see the 10 cost exorcist in hand we got the battle sister here uh okay we can do a prey on this and give it one health i guess yeah that's pretty sweet um yeah, I mean we're not like attacking much. Now, if 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 we don't take damage, we get a faith, right? But we have to assume this thing's probably going to attack here to stop that, right? Oh no, no. See, we get that we get the faith. Nice. Our faith counter is is uh is going up. Beautiful. You have some some big rewards. We get the 8 faith. This thing deals 5 to all freaking enemies, which is completely insane, really. I do need something to fill my curve here though. I said that the opponent's not done doing things yet. I guess they, they really are quite swarmy. Um, 
Okay, yeah, we have only the Fury of the Righteous here to play, which I guess isn't bad. We're definitely going to take some damage, so going for a, a prey here for some extra faith doesn't really seem worth it to me. I think we just, like, clean up this stuff, though, right? This stuff looks kind of annoying and scary. I don't know how much the swarm really, you know, pays off for them, but in, in theory, I don't want them getting a lot here. So, uh, missionary comes down. We give it one health. That's actually pretty beneficial to help it survive. Although there is going to be five attack on the opponent's board. So that's not necessarily a good clean line for us. We could instead go battle sister into Yuri, but we don't have enough faith yet. So let's do this. Um, do we hit this to soften it? Like it's going to hit and take two back. Yeah, I guess. Pushing this to five, like we said, it doesn't really help on board at all, right? So, I, I think we just focus on the kill, right? I think we focus on the kill. Like, this could be pretty great pretty soon. We actually have two of these. You, you can see how wide their board's potentially gonna get here, so it's pretty scary. Uh, do they actually use this thing to finish it off? They do, yeah, okay. Oh, they did they do a melee attack? Oh, it didn't matter, it didn't matter. They, they, it was dead either way, I guess, right? So it didn't matter. Okay, this is like a little bit of a curve fill. This guy has some survivability. This, since it has Vanguard, definitely seems uh, much better for the, the prey on our Warlord here, right? Like, this makes a lot more sense. We get plus one health here. We hope that that's not interrupted, so our faith total increases. Uh, next turn, maybe this guy gets to pray. I don't know. With these, uh, if I remember, just summon, yeah, it's more of these, basically. Not like they have Vanguard or anything, but it's just potentially a lot of bodies that could all pray, theoretically. So, uh, not the craziest, widest swarm right now, for the record. Like, clearly, not, you know, like five things. So, this is not as rewarding. It's three units total, right? So it's not as rewarding as you might like, but maybe maybe still just the best play that I have anyway right now. Uh, we can kill one of these. Still looks pretty sick, to be honest. Like, that actually still feels pretty good. I mean, this is a two-cost card, so it's kind of like we got six energy worth. I think you want to hit a little swingier than that. Um, So, yeah, I mean... Do we go for the prey here? Yeah, I mean, it makes us better on the return swings too, right? Like, um... We could maybe even just give this one health again as well. Like, I think they're going to be pretty focused on... They're going to be pretty focused on dealing with stuff. So, I mean, there's, there's chances that some of this faith comes through, right? Um, so we could go to finish the faith again if they, like, value trade here and, and play more stuff. Sadly, only one big guy. That's kind of the opposite of what I wanted to see. And I wanted to see more small guy. I mean, there's still going to be four, like we said, though, so that's pretty good. Uh, so this is going to stick, it looks like. The, uh, the faith counter goes to three. We're still quite a ways off from eight, though, for the record. Um, we have this and this now, if we want. This does deal an additional two, so that's a good three health breakpoint, I guess. And this also deals two. So you could do like two and three is five. Like, do we want to prey on these? No, right? Like we we want to attack probably. There's also this, which is just four units, but it makes this thing a little bit harder to deal with, right? Like, uh, I mean, I guess we can hit for six actually. No, that's not true. Let's still do this. I think it's fine. This is a lot of dudes. This is a lot of dude. I hope I didn't mess up the fact that uh, I, have, I have enough board space. Uh oh. Uh, oh yeah, I did right. That's fine. So yeah, we'll just clear this, I guess. Not fancy, but it's getting the job done, I guess. Uh, it's progress. So four dudes. Four new. No, actually, I don't. I don't think this. I don't think this faction has any dudes though, right? Actually, it seems like they're all. All dudettes here. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Or summons. Exorcist is coming soon. I mean, even if you don't have the faith for it, it's still like a monster threat, right? It's a monster threat, but it would sure be nice to have the faith, dude. Eight faith would be insane, but I'm just too far behind on board, I think, to get the faith. 
I don't see it, man. The, these things are like cool, but we're so far behind that it's just like taking really good trades, you know? Uh, so we can do this. We have five and two after still, which is pretty nice, but we can see if there's something a little better here. Uh, three faith gain armor one. So that's pretty nice too, but I think we might as well just do this to clean things up. So this is a pretty big monster that's hard to deal with and two, um, two blast is also pretty scary. Maybe since that thing has one health, we we um, we put this over here, I guess, for the blast. I, I don't know if that's sensible or not, but it kind of makes sense. This is actually hitting for three, right? Yeah, there we go. Boom. Uh, and then I guess we can actually... Oh, no, we can't kill this because of the armor, right? No, we can't kill this because of the armor. Um, well... Maybe we just use this to kill here and just like ignore this, right? I don't know. Let's let's actually pray. Maybe these live. I don't know. Uh, uh maybe. I, I don't know if that's the right the right heal target for the record. Might just be on the big guy left. Again, not not a guy, but you know what I mean. Uh, this thing hits so hard. I guess it kind of murders the the left card anyway, right? It doesn't really matter. They're going here for the AOE though. Eight to the hero too. It's just pretty gross yeah i understand so still one turn away from this but we have this for nine so at least we have a couple things to do here uh that said this thing is getting really problematic isn't it the retributor uh deal three to a random enemy troop troop specifically uh this again is gonna gain armor but that's not that crazy Deals one on prey, which takes a minute. Now this does have five um, ranged attack, but it dies if it goes here. So it hits for four, it's down to two. Could use this to clean it up. Leads to heresy. Oh, this has Vanguard though, so we have to do this actually, that's fine. Kind of the same difference, right? Um, so this hits for two, bro, this two armor is ridiculous, isn't it? Oh my God. Maybe this connects? Oh, shoot. Dude, there's so much freaking... Uh, it's for, for one, right? So I think we're better off just playing cards here. Let's, uh... Five and six, five and zero. Maybe here. I'm taking so long on every turn, I know. Dude, I'm almost dead, though. Like, I can take 12 here, and I'm only at 19. That's scary. And I'm not at 8 faith, that's for sure. So the Exorcist here is just not coming in on time. Um, Boy. Okay. This is spooky, dude. Like, they're at 30. That ain't happening. Um... I don't even know. Are we gonna be able to play the Exorcist? Like, you know, it doesn't have it doesn't have like uh, Vanguard or anything, so it might just be dead, right? We gotta be careful here. Heal three to a friendly unit, but that takes a turn to connect. So, um, any any damage left is fine. That's lethal for that card. Pure of the right just kills that other guy. Uh, and then we could just kill this, I guess, with ranged attacks. Oh, but this still has... Um... We'll go here, clear that. Go here to clear this. Uh, I was going to say, wait, that should clear this. <laughs> the delay there scared me for a second. And then this only has two, so these can actually clear here too. Oh my god, dude, can we actually, like, stabilize here a little bit? Just, like, wait a minute, we're at 8, but, like, we suddenly have a really big board. And this thing can heal, too, and we can heal ourselves, technically, too. Dang, dude, I, I, I'm, oh, overtime, oh god, they're, like, drawing extra cards and stuff now, and things are getting spicy. Uh, that's a 5 cost. The four cost. That's most of the turn. Okay, this is trading in suddenly. How much like damage do we have? Four, six, and nine is fifteen. So not enough yet. Although this deals three. Oh, uh, big heal here. Maybe it's still not time for the exorcist, right? Maybe we just play six, three, and two. That's a pretty good turn, yeah. 
Oh, okay. Suddenly I'm like having a little bit of faith here, man. I don't know, dude. Like suddenly I'm having a little bit of faith here, dude. Do these want melee attacks? Uh, like three and four is probably a good number. This also wants melee for five. So maybe we'll go melee here for five. And then we'll hit this for three. And then we'll melee here for four. And then, I mean, do we start hitting here? Yeah, I think so, right? With this armor in particular, yeah. Maybe we pray ourselves up a little bit here. It's because we have a, a really nice board advantage at this stage, right? Okay. Dude, I'm like, we're, we're suddenly, like, I don't know how we flipped this, to be honest. <laughs> it felt like I was really losing. Oh, my God, dude. Okay, that needs to die, I guess. Or actually, we're just going to have lethal, though, aren't we? We're just going to have lethal. Yeah, for sure. They're at 20. Like, we have to. Oh, this again is so sick. Um, This guy's cool, too. The, the Paragon Warship, I forgot about this. Uh, We're not gaining... I mean, it's just it's just lethal, right? We just have lethal. There's no... We don't need to stress about this. I'm, I'm too lazy to count, but I'm certain that it's, it's, it's lethal. It's a million damage. Uh, finish it off with the hero, right? Melee attack, get up in their face. Yeah, nice. Oh, I thought we were totally cooked. Cool. I'll take that. Yeah, so that's going to wrap it up for our look at Warhammer 40k Warp Forge. You can definitely see this game is getting a lot of continued support and a lot of new stuff added all the time. So it's nice checking out some of those new cards, the brand new faction, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Again, if you did and you're curious about this game, you can hit the link in the description below. It's on Steam, it's on mobile, and it's free to play. And uh, I think you'll really like this one a lot, especially if you're as much of a sucker for the characters and lore as I am. I, I really just like looking at the cards. That's why we opened packs. I think it's just cool to see all of this sick stuff. So uh, thanks again to this team for sponsoring this video and thank you for watching.